Well, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and uh, this morning, we're gonna talk about a used coach that we just got in. This is a 2020 Dynamax DX3, uh, you know, truck mount toy hauler. And this unit's, uh, like say, less than a year old, only about 9,800 miles on it, I believe. So the stock number for today's unit is 5U, 200-992. This is a 37 TS floor plan that stands for triple slide. Uh, it's actually about 38 to 39 feet long. I'm going to start right up here in the front. As you can see, we're on the Freightliner chassis. This is the M2106. Uh, common chassis for these toy haulers. It has the ISL 8.9 liter Cummins engine in it, uh, like all of the Freightliners, very easy to access the engine, your fluids. Uh, one thing I like to point out, all of these Freightliner chassis start out as four airbag chassis. The toy haulers typically bolt down the front end and they go with a shock and a leaf sp uh, spring suspension. You can see those are the Bilstein gas filled shocks. And you can also see down in here uh, the bell crank and the steering stabilizer mechanism. Uh, you got to give credit where it's due and Freightliner builds these chassis with that bell crank system. You're not transferring all of the vibration from hitting say a pothole on the road up to the steering wheel. It absorbs a lot of that for you. So uh, Freightliner uh, really has stepped up their game in the last, you know, six, eight, ten years. There's over 350 service centers nationwide and most of your uh, toy hauler or the uh, truck mount chassis, the Super C's are going to be on a Freightliner chassis. Uh, the other nice thing about this, you get up to the 8.9 liter engine, a thousand foot pounds of torque, so it makes climbing the hills a lot easier. You're rated at 20,000 pounds towing, and we'll talk about that a little bit when we get to the back. Um, like all of them, this hood, it's nice that they've got uh, you know the struts on it to dampen that fall if the wind should catch it it's not going to slam down on you and there we go we're all buttoned up again you've got the big tires the three-way camera system uh, this one's also got actually a front mounted camera I'll show you when we get inside uh, let's walk down this compartment here. First of all, we have a nice 18-foot awning, and this is a roof mount awning. Uh, a lot of the higher-end stuff have been doing that the past couple years, rather than your typical side mount awning. It gives it more of an integrated look, a higher-end look with that roof mount. Uh, a couple of uh, storage compartments here. Now you can see Dynamax does the one-piece rotocast compartments so very clean look and if you need to hose these out and clean them out it's very easy to do they make a nice aluminum door again another component or a compartment here you've got a 110 outlet right here you do have your outside entertainment center this is a 32 inch Samsung TV uh, you also get the uh, Jensen DVD and stereo uh, set up here Always a nice feature come football season for those diehards. Again, a larger storage compartment. Back here you can see we've got the Aquahot 400 diesel. Uh, this provides your, your uh, unlimited hot water, your coach heat, your engine preheat. It is a hydronic system. There's a glycol solution in there and a heat exchanger to provide that continuous hot water heat. Very easy to access. You've even got a little bit of storage around the side for oil or gloves or tools if you want to. Whoa, be careful of that. Um, another storage compartment here. And this final storage compartment, I'll, I'll just go ahead and point it out. We do have a little bit of a dent in the door. It, uh, the door is on its way from the manufacturer. The previous owner had done this and turned it in on insurance, so we do have the new door coming. 
but again, one more storage compartment. And this one you actually get some pass through here. Moving around back, uh, like a lot of the higher end diesels, it's a one piece fiberglass cap that wraps around the side. What that does is it, it provides less places for water to get in. It's a better seal. You have a one piece fiberglass roof. So uh, really well built in that respect. And here is our tow package. Now this particular coach, it's a 33,000 pound chassis with 54,000 GVW, gross vehicular weight rating, meaning we can tow 20,000 pounds here. And you see we've got the big three inch receiver, you've got your, your seven way here, and we also have an integrated brake controller inside. Now you can pull this insert out and you've got the two inch step down. So if you're pulling a boat or a regular trailer that uses the two inch receiver hitch, you have the hardware to do that also. Let's move around to the driver side. Again, we've got couple of storage compartments and you can see it's it's all very clean uh, this one piece rotocast really is a great way to do their storage compartments they're very versatile it does add some R value and a little bit of insulation value from the road noise just nicely finished compartments up here you can see we do have the power rewind with a 50 amp cord that's always nice This is our water compartment. The first thing I'll point out is this does come with a macerator. This is pretty much your, your pump and garbage disposal for the black tank. So it chews up your solid waste and it pumps it out. So if you are slightly uphill from a dump site, you can still pump that uphill. You're not relying on gravity. So you've got your dump valves here. You do have a, a water reel uh, water hose reel also and again just like your power cord reel it's nice that those are powered they're not as messy when it comes time to put them away uh, outside shower over here you've got a switch for your water pump you've got a light out here you've even got input for cable so if you're at a park that uh, you're using local cable you can bring it in here uh, black tank flush and then your winterization and your fill valves are over here so everything conveniently located in a heated, lighted compartment. You've got an aqua hot uh, switch here to adjust your heat. So there is heat around these compartments. It's a good cold weather coach. Here you can see the 8,000 uh, watt generator that'll run both of your uh, air conditioners at the same time. We have one more smaller storage compartment there and then your battery compartment here there are two starting batteries and then the two on the right are the 8d batteries they call it they're about as big as they get so those are your house batteries there uh, over in here you can see your uh, inverter and your transfer switch. This is a 2800 watt inverter and a transfer switch with surge protection. I got it. And another thing about these Freightliner chassis, something like this, it's pretty tall, you know, sometimes they're hard to get into. I like the fact that you get a heavy duty grab handle and your steps, you know, if there's snow or ice, they grip here. You're not going to slip off it. So it makes it easy to get up into this cab. You also have a plug here. You can preheat your engine. If, uh, if you're not plugged in in an RV park, you can fire up your generator. Feed that from here. So let me get this side latched. You can see on the dash, we've got our dash camera in this. That must have been a, an option. I don't believe it's standard, but you know, you're taking a picture of everything that happens on the road. We so, see so many videos these days of crazy drivers that, you know, for insurance purposes, that's nice to have. Let's go ahead and step inside.
Okay, as I mentioned, this is the 37 TS floor plan. Uh, as long as we're up here, I'm going to start with the dash and point out a few things. Uh, now, most all your Freightliner chassis are, are very similar. You've got the Allison 3200 six speed transmission. You can see when I turn the ignition on, this is our, our monitor, backup monitor, and we can actually switch cameras to our side monitors. Uh, we also, let me point this out, uh, menu, and then I can go into my camera, and you can see that is a dash camera. Can we get a wave from the booth? <laughs> You have a two-speed engine brake here, actually a, a Jacobs brake with this one. And again, these, these dashes get to be so familiar to everybody. This one with the six-speed Allison transmission, you shift on the dash. Some of the newer ones, you're shifting on the column now. Uh, USB ports, power outlet, battery boost, and this is a great feature to have in any coach. If your chassis battery is dead, you can use your house batteries to start it. Vice versa, if your house batteries are dead and you want to start your generator to, to charge them up, you can do that off the chassis batteries. Uh, you also have a, a height control. The rear has airbags, so you can uh, lift that up or down, especially if maybe you're pulling in a garage where you have tight clearance and you want to dump that airbag all the way down. You can force your regen here. That has to do with your diesel emission and the combustion chamber. Uh, and then over on this side, you got your cruise control, your lights, uh, blinkers, everything is pretty standard here, but it's a nice setup and I actually like these chairs. A little different than some of our other uh, manufacturers, but it's a very comfortable chair and I like the ultra leather. So these cabs are, are great when you're pulling a heavy load. You're, you're not fighting it as much. You've got the weight up front where you want it, the radiator up front for better cooling. When you hook a 10 or 20,000 pound trailer in the back, you don't feel like you're going all over the road. Uh, while we're here, I'll point out it does have a bunk. Now this basically just slides and fills in and we have our ladder up here. I'm not gonna fill it in right now. We've all seen a bunk. This TV is on a swing out and it's electric. so. Once, uh, once you move your cushion, you can swing that TV forward. They put a lot of their controls right here uh, up front. This does have a solar, uh, 200 watt solar panels on the roof. Here is your thermostat, your charger, inverter. Uh, we do have those, those integrated uh, awnings are carefree 110 volt. So in order to open or close them, I either have to have 110 power or turn my inverter on. That way I can operate my, uh, my awnings. And then you have your equalizer system, your aqua hot. You can see you have both an electric and a diesel burner. Uh, there's your TV arm and then your slide out controls. So everything conveniently located right up front. You do get a little storage cubby here. Over on this side, Mainly just a little coat closet, but this is your awning control up there. And then right here is our multiplex panel, and you'll see these in most coaches now. So whether we want to, you know, bring our slides in and out, uh, turn our water pump on, and uh, start your generator, you can manually start it. That's all done right here, and then throughout the coach you also have light switches. You can see there's one by the door here. It has a master uh, switch, so as I'm leaving I can turn everything off. Uh, over here, you've got your televator. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up. This one goes up and down rather fast. And then you also have an electric fireplace. Now, this is just for ambiance here, but if I kick on the fan, it's actually uh, about a 5200 BTU electric furnace. It's going to really heat up this area right here. So on those mornings where you're in the 40s or maybe low 50s and you don't want to turn your diesel on, you've got an electric element on your aqua hot, you've got an electric heater here, you don't have to fire up that, uh, that furnace to warm up. A couple of very nice 
uh, theater seating here and we've got a couple of tables that go in here so give you a little bit of a workstation and these are recliners and they're right across from the TV so it's a great spot for them you also have the overhead TV you can swing out if you're watching more than one game at a time of course, you know, we're only men. <laughs> um, this is your dine-up booth that easily converts to a sleeper. Uh, you know, you drop it down on these cleats. And as you can see, you've got some good storage underneath these. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, I've talked about the coaches that have the storage drawer underneath here. And yeah, it's convenient to pull that out, but look how big that is. With a storage drawer, you lose a few inches on each side, a few inches in height, you end up losing about a third of your space. So uh, not having the drawer isn't such a bad thing. Come on over here to the kitchen. And uh, again, nice hardwood. Uh, I think these are shaker, they call them, cabinet doors, but it's all solid wood. You have an induction cook surface and again this runs off the uh, 2800 watt inverter a dual stainless steel undermount sink and your residential yeah sprayer the nice thing about this is you know if you're making spaghetti or a big pot of chili you got to clean that big you know uh, the big bowl that big pot you can get them down in this it's a deep cabinet nice little extension top here and then all of these drawers are what they call soft close. And full extension, that's super nice. Yep, yep, full drawer glides. Plenty of room under there to put a trash can. And they even, you know, utilize this space. It's not a lot of room, but, you know, for spices, for other things. To have these little cubbies, they will get used when you're out and, and camping in them. And then one more storage over on this side. Is that a convection microwave? It is a convection microwave like most of them because we very seldom see an oven anymore. Whenever you see, you know, metal inside and these trays, it tips you off, it's a convection. It looks like this one wasn't even cooked in very much. We also have a residential refrigerator. So this here uh, I want to say is the 12. It's either the 12 or the 16 cubic feet. And again, this just came in on trade. We still have to go through it and do our systems check, but the previous owners were pretty clean, so we felt like it was in good enough uh, condition to show you. You can see some of your heating ducts down there. Nice accent lighting, too, around the side. And you've got switches all around here to, you know, Turn your water pumps on and off and so forth. Overhead lights. And again, it's all multiplex fiber optic cable. Uh, let's move to the back a little more. Coming into the bathroom. And as typical, you have the his and the hers <laughs> medicine cabinet. <laughs> Seems to be the way it always works out. Solid surface countertops throughout. And again, like I pointed out, the soft closed drawers throughout. I'm gonna get out of the way and let you move into the, into the bathroom area. There you go. So we have a 32 inch radius uh, shower and that's a one piece surround with a nice seat. You know, uh, people ask us what's the difference in, uh, you know, this This happens to be a Dynamax product. We carry the Numar products, which make a Super C. The Renegades are beautiful Super Cs. And these are going to be less money. But as you notice, that is a, a uh, ceramic or a one-piece plastic type surround rather than the tile. You've got the same footprint. You've got the same room to work with. It's how they trim them out that makes the difference of that last, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand uh, dollars. This does have the stackable Splendid washer and dryer. Moving back into the bedroom area. Of course, you have a TV here with your sound bar 
and again some very nice deep drawers you can see over here you've got your fuses your breakers all in a convenient location cedar line closet these are your blackout shades for the front then you have another wardrobe closet on this side looks like there's there's six drawers down below and two up above so plenty of drawer storage king size bed pedestals on each side with plugs these are both gfi plugs and you have usb ports so if one of you are using a, a sleep apnea machine doesn't matter what side of the bed you're on and then again some nice storage overhead And I like the back window. Not that you see out it when you're driving, but it's just nice when you close the door if you want to, you know, wake up in the morning and see what the weather's like. It's right here. Two AC units? Two ACs, yep. Two heating zones here. You can run them both off your generator. Well, looks like I've got a lot of my lights turned off here. <laughs> uh, what am I forgetting? You've got day night shades throughout and these are the mcd roller shades uh just a nice unit it's it's clean low mileage it's a toy hauler or it's a uh, a, a truck mount chassis super c that'll haul twenty thousand pounds so if you are a race car driver or have a team of horses you're pulling around this is a great unit if you don't want to spend the money on a brand new one and go all the way up for a new or a renegade this is a great option uh, again about 9800 miles on it uh, once again my name's mark love here's my contact information uh, if you have questions on this unit or any of our units, please reach out to us. Uh, things are, you know, coming to the end of the summer. We, we've sold a lot of inventory and we have a lot of things on order, but the used pieces are rare. <laughs> they are a premium. So, if you, yeah, when they're this nice, this new, and this category, it won't last long. So anybody that, uh, that has questions or wants to get pricing, please contact us. So once again, thanks for stopping in, and like always, happy trails, my friends. Thanks.